Let's answer some electronics information questions here. Electrical power can be calculated with the following formula, P equals I times V. What does the letter I represent in this formula? So from this formula, P equals I times V, letter P here represents power, which is measured in watts. And then I represents current, which is measured in amperes. And then letter V represents voltage, which is measured in volts. Therefore, um, letter I here in this formula represents current. So our answer is letter C. What is the load in this basic circuit model? We're given here this basic circuit model. So we have the voltage source here at points A and B. So these are our voltage source. And we also have our load and conductors. So the conductors here are drawn using the lines and arrows. So these are conductors. So the load in this model is the light bulb at point C, this one. Because um, light bulbs is one of the examples of loads. So loads can be uh, light bulbs, resistors, and motors. So the answer here is this one. 3 amps equals how many milliamps? So a milliamp or one milliampere is just equal to 1,000 of an ampere. So that is 1 over 1,000 amp. Therefore, 1 ampere is just equal to 1,000 milliamps. Now we can convert 3 amps to milliamps. So we're given 3 amperes. Then we convert that to milliamperes. So 1,000, we multiply this by 1,000 milliamps per 1 ampere. So this cancels out. So we're left with milliamps. So this is just equivalent to 3,000 milliamperes. So the answer here is letter D. What type of electrical circuit is depicted below? So we're given this here. So in this electrical circuit here, we're given the loads, um, resistors 1, 2, and 3. And in a series parallel circuit, um, some loads are wired in series and some loads are wired in parallel. So in this case, our resistor 1, our load here, is wired in series while loads um, R2 and R3 are wired in parallel. Therefore, this electrical circuit here is a series parallel circuit. So the answer here is letter D. What device would you use to measure electrical resistance in a circuit? So electrical resistance is measured in ohms and therefore it can be measured with an ohmmeter using an ohmmeter. So the answer here is letter A. Which of the following is not a type of resistor? So in our choices here, we're given um, potential meter, dielectric, 
rheostat, and variable. Potential meter is a three terminal resistor with a sliding contact, therefore this is a type of resistor. Dielectric um, is a an insulator, so it's not a resistor. Rheostat is a two terminal variable resistor and variable a variable resistor is any resistor that allows you to change the amount of resistance therefore the answer here is letter b dielectric which of these electrical devices can be used to store an electric charge uh, we're given choices here semiconductor diode capacitor and transistor so the answer here should be capacitor because capacitors store um, electric charge as well as energy. So they consist of one or more pairs of metals conducting plates that are separated by an insulator and our insulator is called the dielectric. And then an electric charge builds up when a voltage is applied across the plates, which creates an electric field. So the answer here is letter C, capacitor. What does this symbol refer to? So we're given this symbol here. Um, from the choices here, we have PSO transducer, relay switch, um, Zener diode, and oscilloscope. So this symbol here is a transducer. So this is a piezo transducer. So a transducer is any device used to convert energy from one form to another. And piezo transducers are of, often used in microphones where they convert sound pressure to electrical voltage. And they generate a lot ultrasonic activity like what I said, it measures the pressure of sound waves above the frequencies that can be heard by the human ear. So the answer here is letter A, PSO transducer. The amount of energy used by a consumer in their home or business is typically measured in. Of course, um, the amount of energy in our homes and businesses um, are typically measured in kilowatt hours. Um, kilowatt hour is a unit, unit of energy equivalent to one kilowatt of power expended for one hour. So this is written as kilowatt hour. AM radio stations broadcast in which frequency range? Frequencies are measured in kilohertz, megahertz, or gigahertz. So in this case, we're asked for the frequency of the amplitude modulation radio station. Um, AM radio stations, they broadcast in the range 530 to 1700 kilohertz. So our answer here is letter A. If a circuit has a voltage of 8 volts and 4 ohms of resistance, what will the current be equal? So the relationship between voltage and cu uh, current and resistance is described by Ohm's law. So we have this equation, I equals V over R, which means that the current is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. We're given here the value of our voltage and our resistance, which is 4 ohms. And now we can solve for our current, which is measured in amperes. So that would be I equals 8 volts over 4 ohms. So this is just equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 2 amperes or 2 amps. So the answer here is letter B.
which of the following is the correct definition of an electrical cell? We have four choices here. Letter A, a method of grounding an electrical current to the ground, a system of transporting current from one part of a component to another, a device that is capable of changing some form of energy, such as chemical energy into electricity, and an electrical device that can convert electrical electric power into radio waves and vice versa. Um, when we say electrical cell, an electrical cell supplies electrical current, say for example batteries and solar cells. So among the choices here, um, it should be letter C. It says here a device that is capable of changing some form of energy into electricity.